Last week, we discussed some more recent developments of President Donald Trump expressing some support for another round of stimulus checks. And now Trump just today said that he once again supports checks, but this time that he might actually support bigger checks. Let me know down below in the comments, would you be in favor of another stimulus check or do you think it's unnecessary? Tell me down below in the comments. This is certainly encouraging news for those of you who are awaiting another round of stimulus checks and President Trump would be in favor of not just another $1,200 stimulus check, but perhaps something larger than a $1,200 check. He recently told Fox Business's Blake Berman that he would in fact support the measure as part of another stimulus package so long as it is quote, done properly. And I quote, I support actually larger numbers than the Democrats, but it's got to be done properly. I want the money getting to people to be larger so they could spend it. I want the money to get there quickly and in a non-complicated fashion. The president also told Fox Business, quote, we had something where they wanted where it gave you a disincentive to work last time and it was still money going to people and helping people. So I was all for that, but we want to create a very great incentive to work. So we're working on that and I'm sure we'll all come together. And they wanted to make it too complicated. Also, it was an incentive not to go to work. You'd make more money if you don't go to work. That's not what the country is all about. And people didn't want that. They wanted to go to work, but it didn't make sense because they make more money if they didn't. And we had some of that. And so we don't want to have that. We want to have people get out and we want to create a tremendous incentive for people to want to go back to work. So while this should absolutely sound reassuring for those of you who are patiently waiting for so many months for another economic impact payment, you do have to keep in mind a couple factors. For one thing, his poll numbers are looking very bleak right now. He might be in dire straits trying to influence any voters whatsoever to try to come on his side. Between the handling of the pandemic and the aftermath of the death of George Floyd, Trump might just be looking to do anything as a last ditch effort in order to gain any voters this coming November. Another factor is that the GOP and the Senate may not be on board with a larger payment than $1,200, so they might have to compromise in that respect. But at the same time, Trump also does want the next stimulus package to include a great incentive to work. The $600 federal payment alongside with unemployment is about to expire this come July 31st, Democrats do want to extend that, but Republicans are strongly against it. Interestingly, a poll found that close to 60% of Americans do believe that the increase should be extended. Also, economists fear cutting the benefit would hurt the economic recovery. Republicans view it as a deterrent for unemployed individuals to seek new employment. So far, officials in the administration have backed what would be a back-to-work bonus, which would actually give incentive to people who are unemployed right now to get back to work. We've talked about that in past videos. I did an entire video on a $450 back to work bonus proposal. It's just an idea that a representative from the Republican side came up with. You can see that video, the link will be down below in the description. And on Tuesday, Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell from Kentucky did express support for a potential phase four bill that would be approved this month before Congress leaves for recess in August. Also on Tuesday, the Senate unanimously passed a bill to extend the time that business owners have to apply for a loan under the PPP or Paycheck Protection Program. There's a dichotomy in the Republican Party itself on whether or not to pass another round of $1,200 stimulus checks and the White House's own aides have not reached an official consensus yet. The first round of stimulus payments back in March that was approved, which seems like an eternity ago, did end up going to more than 150 million American households. Republicans have also rejected the idea of other proposals such as the Democratic push to send out $2,000 a month to every American. We've covered a lot of those proposals on my channel before from Democratic lawmakers. You can see all those links. I'll link them down below in the description, but don't watch those until you're done watching this video. So while Trump does seem to advocate for another round of stimulus checks, he doesn't want to provide too much federal support to individuals. So the administration has not officially endorsed the policy, but generally speaking, Trump would be supportive of another round of stimulus payments. One thing is for certain, Trump absolutely does oppose extending the $600 federal payments. That goes without saying. There's also been a discussion surrounding an increase in minimum wage as cities are starting to do this. In fact, starting on July 1st in several states, including Illinois, Nevada, and Oregon, and cities in several other states will now implement minimum wage pay increases starting on Wednesday, July 1st. These minimum wage increases were actually on track to go into effect before the pandemic broke out and are intended to help struggling industries like hospitality, restaurant, retail, and construction impacted by nationwide shutdowns. In Illinois, the minimum wage will increase to $10 from $9.25. Nevada will increase its minimum wage to $8 from $7.25 for workers with health insurance and increase to $9 up from $8.25 for those without health care coverage. And the hourly minimum wage will increase to $12 from $11.25 in Oregon 
and go up to 1325 from 1250 in Portland. Cities in California and in Minneapolis also increase pay minimums Wednesday. Washington DC will pay low earning workers a minimum of $15 up from $14, 1607 from 1559 in San Francisco. There have been many critics though of a minimum wage increase as it is a time where millions of Americans are either unemployed or furloughed and so a lot of people could benefit. However, it can actually lead to higher rates of unemployment if business owners, especially those with smaller enterprises, couldn't actually be able to keep up with this high payroll. In fact, Ed Renzi, who's the chairman of Fab Brands and the former McDonald's CEO, said that they're going to lay people off when this payroll protection money and other assistance wears out and the money that's not been distributed yet gets used up these businesses are just going to close they can't survive so trump was asked recently if he does support an increase in minimum wage and he did create some confusion as he did say i'm going to have a statement on minimum wage i feel differently than a lot of people on minimum wage some people in my own party larry kudlow the president's top economic advisor has called the federal minimum wage a terrible idea so critics have said that the president has to be a lot more clear on which policies that the administration does support a former economist at the treasury department under the Obama administration said that there are hundreds of options for doing more fiscal support and the president needs to weigh in on what his biggest priorities are. It's ambiguous what program the president is referring to here. So while I can't 100% say that there will be an increase in the federal minimum wage or an extension of the $600 federal payments, I could rest assure you say that there will be another stimulus check. Enough Republicans support it, the president would sign it, and of course Democrats would be behind it, so I could expect another check the question is just when. We have waited weeks and weeks and weeks on end for another package to be passed. So far, all we have as far as direct payments is the CARES Act. The July 4th holiday and the August recess are not going to help this, and it's just going to delay it even further. So hopefully you'll have that extra check in your hands before you go to the ballot box this come November. But I hope you enjoyed this update. If you did, be sure to give the video a big thumbs up, smash the like button. It will just help with the YouTube algorithm. YouTube actually pushes it out to more people when you do that, so I do appreciate it. It supports me greatly. And if you'd like to see more videos from my channel, I post videos every single week covering business, finance, entrepreneurship, investing, mindset, strategy, and tips and tricks from my own experience. Be sure they do click that big red button, subscribe. And if you'd like to be notified every single time I make a new video, so have your first line to see it before anyone else does, be sure they do click that notification bell as well. So you're notified every single time I make a new video. See you in the next one.